Hey man, um, so originally I was going to show you my settings for the DD20, uh, but then I remembered that I don't uh, use it on its own anymore. I use it in conjunction with something else. Um, but if I had to get rid of my, my Alter Eco right here and only choose a delay, I would have no problem with just the DD20. And um, so I'm, I'm going to go through all the sounds and give you demonstrations of what they do if you haven't messed with it already. And then I'll give you my recommendations on how they work in a worship setting. Um, so first, let's talk about time signatures. Uh, in case you haven't you know, read the manual or looked at these, you, um, the DD20 has like 16 different time signatures. Let's see. Okay, so it has 10 different ones. Uh, you have your whole note. Which, in case you don't know what that is, that means that every time, um, whenever you count one, two, three, four, one is the whole note. So I'll hit something, and then it will not repeat until you get back to the one. So the slide's flashing with the tempo. Uh, I play a note. It's going to, you know, every four times the light, or every three times the light flashes it will repeat on, on the fourth or back again on the one. Um, then you have a um, dotted half note. So you press the tempo one time. And what that's going to do is it's going to go on the on the one and the four. So it, it's, it's going to go on the one, skip two, three, go on the four, skip one, two, go on the three. It, it, it changes, but you get some cool sounds. So it goes on the three. If you were, if you were to play a lot of six eight, I would recommend a um, a dotted delay of some sort. Uh, next we have the half note. So and this is going to show on the, um, the the one and the three every time. So hear it again. This is the half note. One two. So it goes on every time you hit it. It's going to keep on. You know, the the repeats will become close, shorter and shorter. Um, then we have a, a dotted quarter note, which this, all this is laid out in the manual. It's a really nice, you know, picture depicting it, um, but it sounds like this. And then the next one is a half note. And a half note, the, the delays are, at, um, every time the light blinks, your, you, your, there will be a repeat. So it's so it's gonna repeat on the one, two, three, and four. This is the one that I use the most often. Uh, it's the one most of us use the most often. The only other one that you are gonna see a lot, a lot, um, um, a lot more of is a dotted eighth note, um, which is coming up in, in a little bit later. Um, hold up, this is a half note triplet. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a half note triplet. Um, it's also gonna give you, give you some really cool sounds. This is a quarter note. This is the one that shows up every time. Um, I like to use both of those in conjunction because you can get some really, well, like I said, nifty sounds, but that'll come later whenever you get another delay. Um, so after the quarter note, then you have the dotted eighth, which is what, that's the second most used um, delay, uh, um, temp, uh, tempo you will find and that's what it sounds like on its own then we have a what is this a, uh, a quarter note triplet which it just repeats more then we have an eighth note which this um, this is going to uh, you, your repeats are going to happen on the on the number and uh, on the on and on the off beat so it'll be one and two and three and four and one and it gets kind of kind of fast. And then you have the eighth note triplet, which is it's a total of sixteen beats in a measure. It's just really fast. It's great for slap back. Uh, and then you go back to the whole note. Um, so let, let's start here on the whole note. If we take the whole note. Uh, I use the whole note a lot for swells, and what I'll do is I'll put it on modulate, press this down. I have my rate fairly low, around 34, 
And then if you press the delay time, hold on. There you go. You can choose the depth. So I always like my choruses slow and deep. And this is going to sound like this as a, um, so if I was to use a pad, I would, you know, fade in, play a G. Set, you can get some fairly long um, times so anyway so let's start with the SOS that's pretty that's pretty um, it's a looper you can keep on lo lo looping on top of yourself it's pretty easy to use and pretty self-explanatory self um, twist is really cool let's go to quarter notes here you have a delay And you can you know, play something. But if you want to add some texture to it, just give it give it some body, give it something kind of cool, you can be playing. Then as you're playing, press down the on-off button, like this. ramps up the delays like that and then ramps it down. Um, I don't use it often. To be honest with you, I don't use it often. Um, but I would like to use it more. It's really cool. Now the one I was telling you about for pads is called Warp and that's the third selection. You, it's the same thing. You have our standard delay. <laughs> playing something and then as long as I'm holding this down it's just going to keep on repeating infinitely until I let go so you can you can use that for pads um, it is kind of choppy but it uh, if, if you work at it you practice with it um, you can get some really 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 excellent pad sounds and you could easily fill up some space with that um, my next favorite delay is tape. I use this more than anything. Uh, in case you're not familiar, um, delays used to be on tape. Um, and then in, for, for every head, like a, like a tape cassette head, you would, have, um, you would have a repeat. So the more heads you had, the more repeats you had. Um, this one gives you the option of two tape heads. And you can choose that by pressing and holding down the on-off button and selecting between... Oops. Selecting between one or two tape heads. I always use two. And this is a great delay for uh, a lot of rhythmic stuff. Um, filling in, uh, just getting more mass to, to soloing. Um, you can use it as, like the Edge used to, which was as a secondary guitar. Uh, we, um, One of our worship leaders is named Scott England. Um, you can find a lot of his stuff on YouTube um, and Spotify. And uh, now his guitar, Shane, uses a lot of tape delay, specifically on the DB20. Um, so one of his songs goes like this. So you can use that. So you can use it to help you out, but if you tap in a tempo, one, two, oh, ah, there you go, one, two, three, you get, you get to your piece like that, you can do some cool stuff.
can manipulate that. There's one song we play, um, I forget what it's called, but it's very piano driven. And I'll actually use this, use this the delay to help, help me play the notes. Um, I'll go to my neck pickup, I will turn my, my tone all the way down, um, and it goes. Oh. It kind of gives you a little bit of a warble to your uh, to your sound a little bit as it goes on. Um, that's a very very common tape delay effect. But you can warm it up. You know, you, you change, put the tone all back, roll the effects volume up, and. through more. And that'll help you out a lot. Um, next you have analog, which is just a warm delay. Um, I think it was Rick Brand on the forum. Somebody asked a while back what the difference between analog and, and digital de delay was, and he put it perfectly. Digital you know, he spelled it out tape. So it would be tape, 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 tape every time because your repeats do not uh, degenerate. With analog, they do de they do uh, degenerate. So if we put this back in the middle here with the analog, hit a G. It just gets it's just less and less. We brighten it up, we get the same thing. But it still happens. Um, I like to use this with a dotted eighth note delay. Let's see which one, which one that was. Yeah, so this one. Well, supposed to be on tempo. standard I use that a lot um, now we're going to go to standard which is a digital delay and um, there's no frills the repeats just they don't degenerate it's a great delay it's going to cut through all the time um, you know it, it's standard it's great for a lot of the early Steve stuff um, you, you know, it's just an awesome delay. Okay, so next is um, dual delay. Um, it gives you a delay at a set volume that is operated by a preset milliseconds. And then you tap in the tempo of the long delay. Um, and the, the long delay is controlled by all these here. And the, the millisecond delay is only controlled by pressing this down and adjusting it here. So basically what you end up with is a slapback delay at a preset volume, you cannot change that, and a regular delay on top of it. Um, and it sounds a bit like this. Some people are good at it, some people aren't. Uh, next we have pan. This is really only good in stereo. 
But if you use it in mono, something, something cool happens. Your first repeat will not be heard, but the rest of them will. Sounds a bit like this. I'm sorry. The first repeat will be doubled, but, but, but you won't hear the rest of the repeats. Got it backwards. in stereo um, if you're going to use it mono there's really no point in using it but it's but but it is there next we have smooth this is great for swells um, as far as how to explain it it's just it just it moves on its own you really don't have to read the manual on it um, the best thing that I can say is that it's it's kind of like it just fills in space So if you don't mind my bare feet, let me show you how that would work with a volume pedal. You would um, you know, set it up kind of high, a few repeats. I'll back the tone off a bit. Yeah. Great for swells, especially if you have modulation um, built in. You know, built in. Like if I was at some course uh, for my epitome up top here. But that's just a good all-around ambient delay that. You can use for a lot of stuff. Now, if you want to do a modern pad sound, the next thing to do is modulate delay. Uh, this you can control the depth of the modulation and the rate, just like a chorus. Press and hold this down. You get your rate, and you control it with this. Press this button, and you get your your depth. I like a high depth and a low rate, and by doing that, it it just kind of it gives it a space, um, not not too much. Uh, just for me, it's right. But so if we keep the same settings, actually turn this up a bit, and we do swells. That's a great delay to, um, to do that with. Um, next you have reverse. I'm not even going to try to use it. Basically what, what the boss reverse does is that it plays your, it plays the regular signal on top and then the reverse signal on top of it. Um, so if I do a note. <laughs> Some I, I don't use it a lot, um, so anyway, um, so that's basically it. Um, if I was to uh, if, if I was to set up my sounds now, I would have I would use tape delay, analog, and modulate. Just those three. Tape delay would be set about like this, and it would still be on quarter notes. And I, I use that a lot. I use it a lot for ambient stuff. I use it just just by rolling off the uh, the tone off of my guitar. 
Um, I can get some really cool sounds with it, a lot of ambient sounds with it. So let's go back to my neck pickup, roll my tone off. throw on some overdrive let's say this one you hear it better Super underrated, but um, in, in, in my opinion, um, and you can use it a lot, and it, it never really gets in the way if you set the mix right. Um, that's just something you got to practice with on your on your own. Um, so I said analog, is it tape delay? Oh, um, and then analog. Um, I really only use for dotted eighth notes. That's really it, and I use that in conjunction with with my alter ego here. So let me turn this on. Um, change the tempo and I use it for, I use it for galloping delay so this is something you can look forward to in the future so that's how I would use that but you can absolutely use it on your own um, modulate delay and this will have this will be actually uh, anything below a quarter note for, for for swell stop and I'll set the the level fairly high the feedback fairly high and I'll roll the tone off and this is how I would actually use it so I'll use both pickups um, you know tone wherever I want them and, and I would do triads sounds kind of nasty if you change the tempo that changes so here, here here's quarter notes again right there for, for, for swells um, I usually have a lot of reverb in front of it which is why I would use something lower than, than a quarter note um, it, it works better for me but you, you choose what, what uh, works, works best for you and then I'll also actually do this and I'll use this setting for songs like Our God
that works. So that's the DD20. That that's how I use it. Um, I, I only use three presets, but you have five to choose from here. So you have a lot of really, really cool options you can do. Um, you know, it's, it's just a couple couple of couple of guidelines for you for you to uh, think about our ambient stuff is usually going to have high repeats and sit just below your guitar. Um, Non-ambient stuff is either A, not going to be really heard, it's not going to stand out, it's just going to add mass to what you're playing, or it is going to stand out. In which case, if you don't want it to stand out, I would say use analog. If it is going to, if it is going to stand out, I would say use, use the standard delay. Um, and and then if you want to use a rhythmic delay, I would say use dotted eighths or use tape delay. Um, so that's really it, man. Um, good luck. If you have questions, you know, give me a shout. I'd love to help you out with this. Um, so yeah, thanks, man.